So we've seen how the factor theorem can do the job for us in factorizing a polynomial. But in general, you're not going to do it that way. You wouldn't um, exhaustively go through all of the factor theorem uh, over and over again until you found all of the factors. It would just take too long. A quicker way for cubics is to find one factor and then use polynomial division. So what we've done in the previous video is we worked through just using the factor theorem. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do uh, factor theorem, then remainder th uh, factor theorem, then polynomial division, rather. So we know that f of 1 is equal to 0. Okay, We showed that in the previous video. So this is me using the factor theorem. I'll show it all again, just so you can see it. So 1 cubed, take away 6 lots of 1 squared, plus 11 lots of 1, take away 6. So we get 1, take away 6, plus 11, take away 6. That is 0. Therefore, x minus 1 is a factor of f of x. OK? So with that in the bag, we can now use polynomial division on this cubic. So we would then go x minus 1. Now, we want x cubed. So x times x squared will make the x cubed. x squared times minus 1 is minus x squared. We don't want minus x squared, we want minus 6x squared, so we've got to take away another 5x squared. So x is into that and minus 5x. Minus 5x times minus 1 is 5x. We don't want 5x, we want 11x, we've got to add on 6x. X is into that goes 6. 6 times minus 1 is minus 6. And there is no remainder because minus 6 is exactly what we wanted. So we can now write f of x as x minus 1 times this quadratic. So we can write the cubic as a product of a linear term and a quadratic term. And now all I need to do is factorize this quadratic. And so this would have to be two numbers that multiply together to make 6, but add together to make minus 5, and that's minus 2 and minus 3. Okay? So as you can see, if you can get down to a quadratic that factorizes, then this is a whole lot easier. If you were just coming up with uh, any old cubic, and you've just written one down to see if this works, in general, the likelihood of you being able to find a factor is quite slim. And even if you did, it's not necessarily true that then the quadratic that you get afterwards can be factorized. Okay? So this process is a lot quicker than just finding factors and can get you at least part of the way.